I guess French Barrio. <coughs> so today Spencer. I will just show you the the build very quickly then you will see a game with it. And then after the game if you want there will be more talking. I will go a little bit more in depth with uh, what I have here and I will kind of um, analyze the game a bit if you want. Well let's go for the game. Today I may reveal the final piece. I need to ascend to godhood. Your sacrifice serves me. Will you even live to unlock this? I doubt. could have found that. What does it feel like when the virus struggles to control your final breath? Before it is barely begun. Go ahead, take it. All right, we can handle this. This will make it even easier to destroy you. Good. There 
results are fascinating. Continue. Your mortal life has ended. You will never see your loved ones again. You will never see your loved ones again. It'll take more than that to stop me. The master of unlocking. You will never see your loved ones again. I don't want to do that again. Sides by I found you. Take it on. Be swift with it. There is much for us to do today. Elevated to purpose by my talent. Run, rats! You cannot hide from me! I am waiting for your death. Not long now. Ah, I found you. Coming to get you. Mark their captor. It is futile, but amusing. to terminate this experiment and you with it. You think this impresses me? Do you think that I am taking pity on your vain efforts to survive? It's not even close. Ah, I found you.
time, and more importantly, mine. Your survival was anticipated up until now, but your death is the next step in the trial. I love this music. What? One's not making this easy for us. Hey guys, so back to the build, so you can see my skills, slowly, equipment, deck, all this stuff right here, uh, it's sort of a cheesy build sadly, but you can't really play differently with Spencer, I value cheese with a bunch of zombies and a bunch of something, you know, it's how he is, uh, it's uh, something I dislike, but, you know, psh, what? <coughs> so, the skills first. Generator, why generator? If I were asked, I would say Refract is better than Generator. It's better, really it is. Even if it's uh, it doesn't have this cooldown. But Generator with Immobilizing Rounds, Shock Trap, possibly too. I would like to try this, maybe I would get the opportunity. Anyways, first two things, along with Sturdy Materials. Um, material actually increases the duration of negative and restraining effects, blah blah blah. It works with both of the scars. <laughs> Alright, so generator with the scars and this equipment becomes better than refract. I think refract is better with uh, hordes, zombies, stuff like that. <laughs> Possibly with, uh, with guns too, I'm not sure, it depends uh, on your build. <laughs> Alright, second, dead bolt and recharge. Not dead bolt, then recharge. Both together. <laughs> Why? Recharge gives you one energy back for every door which is closed or light which is turned off. <laughs> With. Uh, sorry. Yeah, recharge. So if you have dead bolt, the doors will be able to fail free immediately. Thing is, you will not get one, you will get three by your energy back. Because the door is a red free, it gives three by your energy. <laughs> Magic, right? So all the gameplay with recharge used to be extremely fun in my opinion. <laughs> you, I mean, you were like a, I mean, you were just turning off lights like a madman, like one, one light, one light, one light. You, you would just switch from a room to another, or some, to some crazy fast uh, stuff and get so much power energy back. But sadly, decided to, <coughs> to, to nerf this. So now the gameplay is more like you close the door, you turn off one or two lights, and you have four or five bio, bio energy back, which is a lot. If you don't have dead bolt, you will only have two bio energy back or three, <laughs> and that's a big difference to me. <laughs> so dead bolt and recharge together. That's what I would go with on most of the maps. There are some maps like uh, 
I brought, I brought on that park probably. I would not go with that bot and we charge in there. I think that would be a mistake, not sure. But I think uh, there are better options. Anyways, so that's why I'm using both of this thing. Omniscience. This is extremely fun. Uh, because I'm using um, like trap build, mostly traps, for traps, tokens. Um, it kind of like combines with everything I get from Omniscience. It doesn't matter what I get, I can do something with it. <coughs> As you saw in the game, I got a uh, fucking... <laughs> What is called? Yeah, I got the AP Gator from fucking Nikolai, and now I was just like, I was about to, um, to isolate a player with a trap and then use it. Boom! Down! Valerie down. By the way, shoot out to this Valerie. Uh, this Valerie is a very good player. I played with uh, this person in the past. A very good player. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, about the game, uh, in terms of performance, the game stopped in area 201. Martin um, got disconnected. Not his fault. Not my fault. It's, I mean, it can be his connection as a game, but not uh, nobody's fault, you know. So I just decided to st stop pressuring them, and you know, we made the game last a bit longer by playing kind of in kind of a cool way, you know, on both sides. And I was able to try. Oh, sorry, to try out those two things especially to see if they were, if they could be good, and I really, I love both, especially this one, it's really funny because of the combos, I mean, you get a random super card, I will just call it a super card because it's like a very good card most of the time, and you get to do a combo with it, like, like that. <sighs> well, so that's it for our missions, rewards, um, <clears throat> the thing with Rewood, I played it so well, this game and I have and I think another game, two games. <clears throat> it seems like when you use this card in area three, your whole gameplay has to has to connect with it. <clears throat> you can't do something and then think of Rewood. You have to think of Rewood. You don't even want to set up in front of of your bio cards. You want to set up in front. Uh, you want to set up in between the core, which was rewritten and the next score, so you can use reward again. <laughs> so basically, if you use this card, you have you need to um, change your whole gameplay and make it about reward. Presets are really useful. Like I mean, you saw it in the game. I had um, traps uh, around every bio core. It's kind of random. I mean, I tried and I guess I was lucky that I got casino. Presets are really useful to kind of um, work with reward. Ten ball to two. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, the hard thing behind it. And one thing, this integration field. You saw me in a referee try some sort of a trick. Uh, I tried to punch the way door on the door. <laughs> that actually works on some specific doors. I've, I think I did it wrong. That was a little too far. But if you do it right, the person who is trying to knock, to um, kick your door, will get killed. I just think it's a cool trick. It also works with uh, Refract. In some doors there is a bug, I guess, and Refract goes through the door. It's like, it's like a big surprise for pro survivors. <coughs> Anyways. So yeah, you got the thing. Where it is, I mean, you saw the way I used it, and I think I showed that it can be good, at least in this period and on this map. <coughs> now, the deck. Guns, mobilizing, Canon. Uh, it's kind of a double threat uh, build. I mean, triple. There is a door most of the time, and then there is me on my camera, camera with this, and there is also trap on the floor at the same time. So if a player is solo, he will have, a, uh, he won't be able to deal with both the trap, the camera, and and you know whatever I brought him. Just like that, Becca, she could not destroy the trap in time before I get her with the immobilizing grounds. She adapted well, by the way. She did really well. So yeah, that's the idea. You, my guns are here, are there to support my traps. You know, to make them not thicker, but uh, I mean, if they are immobilized or thrown in the air, they can't shoot my traps, right? So that synergized together. Uh, only EIS traps, because uh, yes. Um, I, I, I don't really go for damage in this bit, I go for time. 
Spencer is not with a damage girl. Nothing here is about damage. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, I have this, but uh, it's not really for the damage that I'm using it. It's because of the um, the knockback. When you hit a player with this, he's going to fly, which is not the case with uh, this. <laughs> you know. And even this, it's not the case either. I need to stop them. I need to stop them from progressing through my objectives, you know? Push them back. So yeah, it's mostly a cheesy build. I mean, you, you, I have a shit. There is something I really would like to add though. Not sure if that would be the right option, but... I want to try this just for fun. I think that would add something even more, like, you know, to protect my traps or protect my camera. I think that could be fun to use that. I think the build, the way it is right now, is really good, unless uh, I could change something, possibly, but I, I, I kind of like this build, really. Maybe something to kill them. But what? Yeah, I just want to add this and test it. It goes to 2 over, that's the problem. It's uh, an effect. Maybe if I get a specific map and I use um, Symbiosis, this could be interesting. I would like to try it out. I like this card, I mean, it just looks nice. <laughs> and I think it's strategic. So yeah, I will try it next time. Anyways, thanks for watching uh, the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will play more games with this. I will try this. So, uh, if I'm lucky, I will get a SWAT team, and if I get my ass kicked, or if I win the game, I will upload the game. So, yeah. hopefully that happens. Thank you.